Hello, veteran 0 and 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another bonus episode of Tales of Symphonia. In the previous episode, I officially began the Kratos path. Again, I'm not really sure I care about most of the treasure in this place, because, uh, well, it's probably not that good. I'll try to get it if I see it, but I'm not going to lose sleep if I miss anything in this place. Alright, a heavenly robe. It's for rain, I guess. This is better defense, but misses out on intelligence. Probably don't need the extra defense that much. And I guess I want to try up here first. Ah. Hello. Energy tablets, alright. Oh yeah, by the way, I did uh, get energy tablets off screen with Zelos. Uh, just wandering around the town. Again, equip a couple rabbits feet if you want to be able to farm items like energy tablets and miracle gels faster. Uh, because the higher the luck stat, uh, the better the item you'll probably get. Where the hell am I going here? Oh. Okay then. Phoenix Cloak. Set is a uh, fire elemental defensive cloak for Regal here. Yeah, not bad. See, I want to burn that shit. Apparently we have to do it more than once. There we go. Alright. Man, how do we get down from here? Oh well. I gotta find another way down. I'm tired. Don't be tired of this, Persea. We like to fight. This is what we do. We like to drop meteors on these guys' heads. Wow, that axe looks freaking awesome. Yeah, at this point, all I had for Persea was that, uh, that Powhammer DX, which is really good, by the way. It just doesn't, it looks funny, but yeah, that axe that she has right now, it's pretty fucking badass, man. I like it. Alright, we get Star Mail, and another one of those. Star Mail, yeah, I'd have to say this is better than Rune Mail for Lloyd, for sure. Lloyd doesn't need intelligence as much as other characters for obvious reasons. I mean, sure, it'll probably help his magic defense to some extent. Or, like, overall magic defense, but not enough to weren't prioritizing it. I'm trying to make my way back to uh, that other part. Yeah, in here, right? Except shit. I can't go this way, I gotta find... Damn. That really sucks. I think I see... I think, you know what, I think I m made the same exact uh, mistake when I was exploring this place the first time. So yeah, I gotta, we gotta make our way all the way around here, I think. Instead of going... Okay. Yeah, I know where we gotta go. One fight after another. One fight after another. Uh, that's bull crap. I was just warming up.
Yeah, instead of going up there, <coughs> we just want to go this way. Alright, now we're on the right track. Star Guard. Here you go, Persea. Actually, I don't think it's going to be as good. It is better defense. Oh, wait, no. No, it is good in its own way. Because uh, it helps protect against uh, dark damage, I guess. Which is pretty good in its own right. Yeah, whereas the uh, Solar Guard, it protects against uh, fire instead of darkness. Both are good. I mean, both are good depending on the situation, what enemies you're, you're fighting and all that kind of thing. All right. What's going on? Okay, yeah, this is where the characters are going to start sacrificing themselves. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out without Zelos. Angels. Because, you know, he comes in at the end and Here he kind of like saves the party. You know, like, he acted like he was betraying Not us and then, uh, then he uh, decides to uh, actually help us out in the end. Or he was trying to trick Pronima. Oh, come on! Yeah, I fucking missed it. I was just warming up. I was trying to do a chain attack there, a unison attack, and the fucking bitch bounced up. Just in the nick of time to avoid Damn that. It. There's no end in sight! Make a break for that passage. Alright. I'll hold them off here. Hurry. Pretty impressive kick, I must you say. You know I can't leave you behind. There's no time. You know that. You're the only one who can save Colette. I know that, but I can't just leave. That's not what you're doing. I I once wasn't able to protect someone very important to me. So this time, I'm going to succeed. I'm going to protect my friends. Regal. Lloyd, save Colette. All right. Regal, don't die. Don't make me go through the same pain you did. You hear me? <laughs> you sure don't make things easy, Lloyd. I'm sorry, Alicia. It looks like it's still going to be a while before I join you. You shall not pass. Hmm. Is that line steal stolen from uh, the two towers or uh, Fellowship of the Ring? I'm not really sure. Anyways, yeah, you wanna wander around here and maybe buy some stuff if you need it and get some treasure. Cause yeah, we can get treasure in this area. Shaman dress for somebody. Sheena. Here you go, Sheena. That's not bad. Light and dark resistance. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's pretty good gear in this place. Um, it's broken. Yeah, that stinks. Yeah, if you want to fight... Certain types of monsters like angel spearmen and archers, then uh, I think this is one of the few floors that you can fight them unless they're uh, in the final dungeon. Or other parts of Garrus Carlon. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Alright, 
that's yeah, that's all the crap we can get on that for. Again, I'm not gonna lose sleep over not being able to find some of this stuff if I don't, if I don't find it. If I miss it, oh well. You know, not a big deal. Leftovers from earlier. You mean one of the giant trees? Yep, no doubt about it. Just stand back and leave this to me. Disciple of everlasting ice! It'd be nice if she used the other four for this part, you know what I mean? I command thee! Gatherest before me and unleash thine power! Gatherest. I like how she yeah, again, I like how she gets all old English with these uh summon spirits. My impression of the mana cannon. Well, it won't be nearly as powerful, but it should be enough to take care of this thing. Lloyd, when I give the signal, run underneath it. Got it? All right, but what about you? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Get ready. Here we go. Was amazing. Whew. Just don't ask me to do it again, okay? Whew. That drained all my mana. I want to rest for just. A... Ah! Sheena, hang on. Oops. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you laughing? No, I was just remembering the time when we first met. Looks like I have a strong affinity for pulling the holes. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Don't worry about me. Just hurry up and go rescue Colette. This is not the time to act all tough. I'm not acting. It's just like the last time when I climbed up from the bottom of that pit and I took you on. And this time, I won't miss the main event. You better be telling the truth. Of course. You better leave me a piece of the action. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. You got that? So stupid. Stubborn to the very end. So who is going to save the characters? More feminine at times like this and let him rescue me. Yeah, so at this point in the game... <laughs> that wouldn't be my style now, would it? So at this point in the game, yeah, the, the game is trying to make you feel like, Oh man, I'm losing all my party members. This is horrible and shit. Which is kind of lame in its own right, I'm not going to lie. But, um... Yeah, who's going to save the characters in the end? I don't even know, to be quite honest with you. Because it was Zelos the last time. You know, he, he saved all the characters to make up, you know, for the fact that he was a spy. And, uh, stuff like that. And what's going to happen this time? Is it going to be Kratos that saves us? I guess we'll find out. Starhelm, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna quibble yet on anybody. Excuse me. Where the hell does this fucking treasure at? I know there's another chest in this place somewhere, in this floor. There's gotta be. 
I know I probably shouldn't care that much, but I have been getting some pretty good stuff in this place. Yeah, there's a save point, there's a chest that you can probably easily miss. You know what? There probably isn't. That's probably the only chest. Fuck you, enemy. Get out of my way. Don't poison us. Ah, I'm out of fucking TP now. Anyway, have a miracle gel, Lloyd. Yeah, that, that must be the only chest in this part then. Oh, well, let's keep going. like you can control it from here. Leave this to me. Professor Sage, hurry! Don't rush me. This is it. You did it! Whoa! I just made a minor input error. Be careful, okay? It's okay now. I'm opening the next door. Another input error? No! Now hurry up and defeat it! Fine. This is gonna be a... I don't know why they're playing boss music for this. These guys aren't hard. Do not bother us. Yay. This is quite an intricate trap. Professor Sage, are you really making that many mistakes? Wait, are you... There's no time to worry about that. I'm opening the next one. Not again. What? Professor Sage, I knew it. Lloyd, you need to focus on saving Colette right now. Don't get distracted. Ah. Again. This isn't a boss fight. How dare you dodge my sword attacks. That was just warming up. Professor Sage, it's okay now. Hurry up and come. <sighs> Professor Sage! Lloyd, this room will soon collapse. Hurry up and go. No, I'm not leaving you behind. I don't want to sacrifice anyone anymore. Sacrifice? When did anyone become a sacrifice? I believe in your ideas. A world that would accept those of us caught in the middle. I believe in your vision of the world. It has become my hope. I came all the way here in order to realize that dream. I have no regrets. Saving the world won't mean anything if we lose you. My soul will live on in the world you create. But if your ideals die, then my hope dies as well. Living on without hope is worse than death, don't you think? I... I don't understand that at all! If you don't understand, then make use of your remaining life to think about what it means for a person to live. That's my final lesson to you as your teacher. Now go. Do as your teacher says. Professor Sage! I'll never forget you. 
The rest is in your hands, my precious student. And then there were three. Get the fuck out of here, man. This is going to be a peace. <laughs> Well, there's a save point over here, but it doesn't look like there's any more treasure, so whatever. Let's beat feet and get out of here. Sorry, for a second there, I didn't remember this part. That? I remember it now. I may be able to enter the room from there. It's all right, too dangerous to go alone. I'll be all right. Take this. Besides, I'm the only one that can fit through there. Okay, but be careful. I will. Lloyd, whatever happens, you mustn't give up. Stand and fight. I know you can do it. Prisea, I promise. I'll rescue Colette no matter what. And I'll make a world where everyone can live freely. Yeah, but we're running out of party members fast here. I mean, how are we going to do that? With just two people! Two kids! Get away from me, man. I don't want to fight you. Just 
star circlet and maybe there's something else down this way. Yeah. Star gauntlet. And I think that's it. I hope that's it. Get away from me, man. Fuck. Crazy ass. Oh yeah, and then there's a chest over here. And another one over this way. I remember this. You can do anything if you try. We're dead anyway if we fail. Give it all you've got. Huh. That's just like you, Lloyd. Okay, let's do it. On the count of three. Lloyd. What? Oh, nothing. I'm ready. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> See? Look! It worked! It was pretty good for one of your plans, Lloyd. The only flaw was that you didn't take into account my lack of physical reflexes. Genus! Which is why Lloyd probably should have just fucking grabbed Genus and just pulled him through at the same time. <laughs> I messed up. Whatever. You did that to get me out? In other words, you're too fucking slow, kid. N no Liar! You knew it would end up like this! Why did you do it? If you'd been in my place, you'd have done the same thing! You always jump in... Yeah, I'm gonna kinda fucking go through this, uh, part kinda quick because... She's fucking barriers and force fields in this game. God! The sound effect is so fucking annoying, man. God, it's like the most annoying sound that they could possibly use. Rear, rear. Oh, God, it's horrible. You, you are my best friend. Yeah, all right, let's get past that part already, for crying out loud. God, that is so fucking annoying. Yeah, I, I hope I don't play any more Tales games in the near future where I have to listen or put up with that damn sound effect again, because that was horrible. Anyways... <clears throat> I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Tales of Symphonia. Who are going to save the party members later on after we escape this place? We'll find out in the next episode. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.